hey what's up guys so this is gonna be a video on these hot pink nails that i just did i am using the what is it called bumblebee no oh ladybug acrylic <laughs> this is the ladybug acrylic and this one was the the peptobismol color <laughs> <laughs> just plain but i'll put the link in the bottom for this color i don't know where they sell it i get it from my local beauty supply so i don't know if you could get them online or something but um let's go ahead and watch this also um you might be hearing cars in the background it's because i am um filming it at glitz glam i usually do my voiceovers when i get home because right here there's like a big street right here so yeah you'll be hearing a lot of cars in the background maybe people even honking or something okay as you can tell i already did the other hand for the sake of this video i'm only gonna be um you know doing directions for one hand so right here you know i got my monomer i always uh, and you know of course i already shaped the nails these tips i use the extra long stiletto tips and i shape them i if you guys want me to do a video on the shaping and how to cut those extra long tips let me know i'll do another video but um what i always do number one is put clear coat of course i primed the nails and put the primer already but what i always do is i put a clear coat of acrylic um on the natural now just be so we won't get any lifting because there is some colored acrylics that they they lift for some reason like even if you put primer they lift really fast like i don't know if it's because colored acrylic maybe has more oils in it i don't know but to be safe you know do your nails regularly you know and um but and you know regularly as in you know you buff them first and then you put the tip and then the primer but always put a clear acrylic first on the natural nail before you lay down that colored acrylic it will make your clients nails last longer so here you go you're gonna be seeing me do this on the rest of the the nails oh and right here you see me i i laid down the the colored acrylic right and now i'm going in with clear acrylic on top i only do this because i really like how 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 fast the clear acrylic dries and it gives me my when i add the clear acrylic it gives me like the thickness at the end no the thickness in the beginning so you know her nails won't break you have to add extra acrylic where the breaking point is so you're just gonna see me since these are just one color nails you're gonna see me do this throughout the whole this whole hand and i'm gonna let it play just so you could um you know like see how long nails are done you know like you see how i i always start my my bead in the in like maybe the middle of the nail i think you should do this because like if you start at the at the base your it won't go all the way down like the acrylic won't go all the way down so for long nails always start like in the middle with your bead and go down and also like use that the brush i use the body of the brush when it's i make sure the the acrylic is dry before i press on it because if you don't not too dry but dry enough not 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 that it's wet sorry i gotta you guys gotta wait till that passes by <laughs> oh yeah so not that it's wet but like when it's like already dry you use the press press down the the acrylic with your brush the body of your brush and that's how you create that that like kind of like flat look at the end because in the in the the beginning i have a i do like a rounded a rounded shape but at the end i i like my 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 nails to be flat 
from the end. That's how you get that crisp, crisp look. All right, you guys are going to see me go throughout this uh, video. Just go ahead and watch. And if I see something that um, I think I should let you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know. But go ahead.
all right guys the filing is very important you see how i faced her hand towards me that's really important so that's how you get like that square shape at the end you know even with your coffins that flat flat um top you know what i mean and that crisp the crisp crisp just shape so you're facing the hand towards you and you're filing towards you that's how you get it straight too because when you do it this way the the nails look straight to you and when your client flips her nail like towards her they look really straight too so it where it you guys are seeing the same shape because when you don't file like that let me tell you when you file like this just like it's facing you down the nails look really straight to you but when she's looking at them it doesn't look straight so this is very important when you face the hand towards you then you could put it back and you know fix your mistakes on whatever you did earlier then you could file it like this but it's always important to face the hand towards you that way i can't stress enough your nails will be shaped and looking like pinterest level pinterest level nails <laughs>